uh, Thank you. Um, item. Uh, page 316. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak. Um, I'm here to speak tonight about the square and in particular the Godley Reserve area and the area that's designated as Speaker's Corner. Uh, I believe the square to be a beautiful and sacred place and it is the heart and soul of Christchurch City. I don't believe it should be designated as Speaker's Corner. People come to the square to sit, eat lunch and to take in the atmosphere. They have the right to be there in peace and to enjoy themselves without disturbance of those who believe their right to free speech usurps the rights of those that seek the sanctuary of the space and tranquility the area provides. As much as the few that visit have the rights to speak free speech, many others also have the right to have their peace undisturbed. Uh, there are a few rowdy, unfortunately, Christians tend to turn up there predominantly on Fridays uh, with ladders and pulpits and whiteboards and trestles and rowdy sound systems. They take over the atmosphere by yelling at the top of their voices, screeching like animals, one man in particular, intimidating, scaring children and making racist, sexist and homophobic comments. I've witnessed this on many occasions. Uh, to the many people enjoying their time with their friends and family or just trying to unwind in their lunch hour. I have witnessed them arriving and climbing onto their pulpits. They bring ladders only to be within minutes empty the space of those uh, people there enjoying themselves. The food businesses are severely impacted by their activities. I've spoken to many of them um, and they are frustrated by this. All they are doing is trying to make a living and cater to the locals and tourists that visit the space. I've witnessed tourists asking a particular guy called Ted to no avail to remove his trestle and whiteboards for a holiday snap of the godly statue with their families and his rude responses to their requests. I respect the right to free speech, but not the right to impose it on people who do not wish to hear it. Uh, it's like they turn up and they've got a captive audience. People ask them to be quiet and they don't respect their right to the peace that people want to have in that area. I've witnessed the compliance officer that has been called to deal with Ted and others breaking many of the bylaws that govern the area, obstructing intentionally, disturbing and interfering with the persons who use and the, uh, for, it for the enjoyment of the, of the area. They use ladders and trestles and whiteboards that are an instruction and I believe them to be a health and safety issue and unsightly. Uh, I believe in free speech and the concept of the speaker's corner. I don't believe uh, that having it in front of uh, the cathedral in the godly reserve area is the right area <coughs> for them to have it. Um, it. It should be more suitable as uh, uh, they can disturb, uh, they frequently disturb the area. I'm sorry, I've never done this before and I'm struggling a wee bit. If Speaker's Corner were in a separate area, people could then choose to go there and listen or they could just go to church on Sunday. The one big problem with Speaker's Corner is that it is not policed properly according to the rules that govern it, and those that make use of it are well aware of it. I would like the Council to consider moving Speaker's Corner away from its current location. I would also like to work with the Council, if possible, in, in um, seeking another location. As it stands now, Speaker's Corner is just a platform for diatribe, dogma and sometimes sheer idiocy. It can also get out of hand, and I've witnessed some angry confrontations. Um, that's about all I've got to say on the issue. Um, I just hope that the Council can um, consider um, what I've got to say, and uh, ho hopefully we can get something done about it. It's a bit of a sad situation in there sometimes. Seeing I, On Friday I saw some uh, angry confrontation there, and it's not good for the tourists, it's not good for visitors, uh, to, of the, to the square, it's not good for the business owners trying to make a living there, and it's certainly not uh, not good for common sense. And and uh, I just hope that the council can do something about it. Tim. Thank you. Tim. Uh, thank you very much. And for a first time, it's excellent because um, it has been a problem for even before the earthquakes. It's probably got a bit out of hand, or 
uh, more recently, but I think you're absolutely right. We've never policed it properly. We've never. I don't think people have really understood it's what it's there for and it, its rules. I think it should be a positive thing to do and a, a freedom of speech, as you say. But I think we've really got to um, control it a bit better and look at if that is still the best place for it. So mm. thank you very much for your submission. I think it's excellent. Thank you. Thank you. I, I actually wasn't aware that it was a designation under the under a bylaw. So um, that will be something that we need to have a look at. But it, it, it probably won't be done during the annual plan process. But a, if, an, if a bylaw needs to be addressed, then it's something we would refer to the appropriate committee. But thank you very much for bringing it to our attention. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much for hearing me. Thank you. Thank you.